Right, welcome. Um, please, could you tell me uh, your name and, and why you're here? Okay, um, I'm Stuart Callenport, and the reason I'm here is to find out more about different ways I can track um, my lifespan and uh, maybe improve my lifespan through Quantified Self. Mm. And, and why are you interested in that? Um, well, I think that all the things that human beings are interested in, such as um, being, being uh, happy, being healthy, having well-being, um, I think those are all very, very important, but I think they all have an effect on lifespan. And I think, I think the human life, um, animal life, is the most valuable, important thing ever. So I'd like to extend that as much as possible, mm -hmm. uh, and I want that for myself and everyone else. That I... yeah. and, and, and why do you think tracking will help you with that? Because, well, before people just just lived and they lived to be a hundred or they lived to be 50 well you never knew but the, the, yeah. well, they just lived sure sure I, I mean maybe maybe they did but I think maybe they were also tracking right I mean maybe not in digit in digital ways or in the same ways but I, I'm sure that um, whether it was a, a scientist or a, a warrior or a monk or a yogi they were they were tracking things in on, on scrolls or in their minds. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're just using using the, the tools and technologies available at the time to, to be able to do the same things yeah. um, and see whether we can do it better. Yeah. So, so what do you track personally and, and, and how does it affect you? Okay, so um, I, I track my uh, blood blood biomarkers, um, testosterone, um, telomere length, um, but also other things like general activity, physical performance, um, my mood, my confidence, um, and, my, and my ideas. Mm. Um, so doesn't it take a lot of time? Um, some things don't take so much, you know, you send, send off a sample here, log something there, um, and some technologies are at, like ambient or doing it in the background. Um, I think as we move forward, we're going, it's going to take less and less time. Although, as with everything, right, with any time labor-saving devices, we fill our time up with more things, yeah, right? Yes. Yeah. So, we'll, we'll, the, the things that we're tracking ambiently, we'll, we'll use that free time to track and experiment with other things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whether there'll be any time-saving, I'm not sure. <laughs> so, now you're tracking all these things. Uh, for how long have you been doing this? Um, so, I suppose I've been using technology to be tracking them for about two years. But I've been tracking um, my thoughts and ideas um, for maybe over ten years now. Um, in a sort of a journal format, but I, I found that digitalization has uh, given me numerous benefits. Mm. Um, so what has it learned uh, about you about yourself? Um, well, uh, there's, I mean, with any area of, of, of experimentation and discovery, you always find more questions than answers, I think, right? <laughs> um, but but I, I think I, I found out um, that, that things aren't so simple, right? I mean, that there's, there's, there's hundreds of theories of aging, and, and I think all this big data and personalized data um, quantifies it, it only adds to that. Um, I, I try and cut through it by um, picking some simple things that I think are, are good markers and good things to track. But I, I think it's, a, I think it, it's society, quantified self technology, this is an open discussion, a continuing discussion and development that we're all going through. And I think we're just doing the best we can at the time to, to get to where we want to get to. Mm. So you can't be more specific about what you learned? Um, well, I, I suppose, suppose our, our, our specific insights um, would be that um, that I, th I think things that people think are healthy for them yeah. aren't aren't so so much um, healthy things. Um, in that, um, sometimes health activities might take up m too much time, or they may be damaging. Um, and so, um, for instance, I found that when I was doing so much running, um, it was taking up a lot of my time, and I, my intellectual growth which would hopefully um, then cross over into longevity gains um, but by being more intelligent, making better decisions, doing better research. Um, you know, so I think it's about co-optimization. 
um, of things, really. Yeah, yeah. So, so that means it's it's uh, like a balance balancing act. Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah. Um, I think I think being more aware of of that. I, I think it's yeah. So, is it well? Are the instruments that are available at the moment are they helpful? Um, I would say that some of them are still. I, I feel quite pr pr primitive in 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 a, in a way. Um, but I, in a, I'm saying that in a positive way, mm -hmm. um, because I think the people that are involved in this community and making the technologies know that it, it's it's. Um, they know that they're they're basic and that we're playing around with ideas, playing around with technology to see what what it can be capable of. Um, but I think some of them are useful. Um, at the moment, the ones I most trust are things like heart rate um, and you know weight and uh, and blood biochemistry things that I feel been around for a long time that we really know that that's 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 healthy that's you know people in labs doing them yeah. um, but uh, you know I, I'm open-minded to to most new technologies mm. uh, well, on a broader level why do you think uh, quantified self is important well um, on, on a very broad level um, I, I think it could be helpful for everyone. Um, I think there's no there's no one in this world that that, that, that couldn't do with some extra data uh, or an extra methodology to help them do whatever it is that they want to do to empower and enable them. Everyone everyone has like a, a he some sort of health issue or or maybe you know some personality or confidence or or, or psychological thing or a, a goal or a passion or a desire and I, I think having data and technology can uh, can only be a good thing if it's if it's if it's used mindfully and responsibly yeah but but it sounds a bit like it, it, um, that you're saying that if you know uh, all these things about yourself then you will be able to um, well to uh, prevent uh, things happening or to uh, um, uh, so that it, it makes you responsible for your for for what happens to you. Um, well, I mean, I, I suppose in in a way uh, there is that idea of taking control of things. Yeah. But at the same time, um, I think we're all in this together uh, as a society, and and it's 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 how we how we all work together and maybe share share our data, share our experiences. But, um, yeah, and, and, and aren't certain things that can happen to a, a, a person, to a body, for example, uh, aren't they just unavoidable? Um, I, I, I take, say two things there. One, you've got the idea of like maybe black swans, so uh, random chaotic kind of things that just happen. Yeah. Well, I, for me, there's no such thing as a black swan. You're just not recording enough data okay. and not analysing it um, fast enough. Um, on the second point... I, I would like to say that um, I, I, I'm an optimist. I don't think um, anything is unavoidable. As far as uh, on a practical level, it, I think things like aging could be overcome um, with quantified self to, to prevent things and to track health conditions in in um, in in tandem with with medical therapies such as regenerative medicine. Um, and, and those sorts of things. So, so does that mean that you think that in like 50 or 100 years time people will live to be 200? Um, I, I would say that um, given the exponential increases in um, a lot of a lot of fields, digitalization and the powers, uh, power laws, I, I think it will happen a lot quicker than that. Really? Um, yeah, yeah, I do. I do. Um, I'm optimistic. I, I think that uh, the the gains gains uh, are, ex uh, are exponential and they're convergent and uh, synergistic and all those sorts of uh, uh, factors play in and hopefully we'll see um, greater lifespans but also so how, how old do you think you will become um, well I, I for me um, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be honest and nothing short of living forever would be would would be would be good enough. Now that that means uh, that means uh, uh, you'd have to solve aging, um, or, or all social and psychological problems. Um, you, you'd have to stop um, heat death or um, whatever happens at the end of the universe. Um, you know, those are all those are all huge problems, yeah. and um, I, I don't want to um, I don't want to 
say that those are oh that's trivial or uh -huh. some magical property or, or blah 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 we'll, we'll, we'll solve those but I think at least being honest that we you know uh, that of what I like I like my health I like my life I value the life of others and getting on I, I, and the more things that can increase longevity harmony mutualism these sorts of things anything that can help that yeah. is good what would it mean for society if, 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 if everyone tracks a lot of things about themselves and, and will become really old? Um, I think that's... Well, I wouldn't like to use the word very old. I think old, <laughs> oh, the no, idea of old... old is it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, I think we'd all be youthful, but, um, you know, chronologically old, yeah, yeah. right? Um, but what does it mean? I think society is changing all the time, and I think it always has. Uh -huh. So this idea that... You know, what, what, the, the, some sort of 1920s, 1950s, 20th century image in, in um, the, 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 the world that's always going to be there. Well, it never has been one no. one society no. or one image. No. It's been continually evolving and developing. And I think it's just going to, we're going, we're going to have to adapt yeah. as we've always done. But, see that. but won't it create a lot of problems? Because... Uh, if people live to be really old, or well, chronologically old, um, well, it gets really crowded. And and where do we get all the food okay, from? And, sure, and, and sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll answer some of those questions. Um, one, the convergent technologies such as, um, like, I don't know, uh, uh, like solar power, um, vertical farming, um, you know, all, the, all this stuff. I mean, there's, there's, we've got a big universe, right? There's, mm -hmm. there's plenty of room in the universe to fit lots of people if you just have a look up in the night sky. And also, with, with the, the miniaturization of technologies, um, and, and also if you look at things like black holes and the sun, the, the, I mean, matter is condensed there. And also information is condensed in, in technologies. Well, could we not condense how much space a uh, human being takes up or consciousness well what about if you could fit a million people into something this small you know um or, or maybe you wouldn't have to do that right but i'm just saying the miniaturization is something that's happening and it's not to be ignored as are as are convergent gains in all these things um and i also think there's there's there's, there's, there's so much death and so much d destruction and, and poverty and, and all, there's a lot of n other negative things going on. Mm -hmm. I think that anything that can really help health uh, and well-being, it's got, I think it's generally got to be a good thing. There will be things to iron out. but um, Do you think yeah. everyone will be into it? Will, is quantified self for everyone? I would say that it may have to be branded differently for some people. Some people may not be into it. I mean... I think personal choice is very important, but but also um, making informed decisions and allowing people to do that, and getting the information to people is important, right? Because to allow them to make that decision, have the information available to them, um, and I think we can be packaged in different ways for different demographics, whether they're at need demographics um, or, or whatever, um, and I'm sure people can take little bits of it, whatever they think's helpful for them, and work with that, I'm sure. And, and, and you think people want to be helped? Um, well, I mean, it depends, because um, with, with technology, you, it's not, it's, the quantified self is not just a, a movement or a, a type of research, but it's also about the technology and about the, the self. Mm -hmm. So in a way, it's about like, in, in some aspects of it, it's a advancement of of self-help and self-betterment um you know in those you know instead in, in the 80s yeah. in the 80s you'd get like a book from the library and you'd be like oh i'm going to learn out how to be a professional or or, or or something um i think it's just it's some parts of it have progressed from that so it's about people's self-empowerment right I, I think that's a more positive word for yeah. it yeah so what will change in like uh, 50 years time? Well, um, there's been a lot of people um, making a lot of uh, predictions for that sort of time frame. I don't like to make predictions too far into the future. No. Although my goals, my goals are big, I don't want to make predictions that are too far in the future because um, the, the things are moving so fast now and I'd rather focus on now, what I can do now, and maybe like, you know, five years, 10 years, um, I mean, who knows what will be in 50 years' time. And if we focus at now, has Quantified Self made you 
a better, healthier, happier person? Yes, it, it has because um, I, I have an academic background in, in biology um, and I felt that I was, doing a, I was studying biology a lot, reading a lot about it, um, doing experiments in the lab, but by, with Quantified Self, I've, I've started living, living that, doing experiments with myself um, and, and, and becoming more athletic. You know, I, 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 I'm in a life and health sciences department and, and you know, I feel that I should embody life, embody health and, and really live it. Like, I feel like science and health sciences is a, should be a lifestyle and I want to be part of that. Okay. Thank you very much. Great, thank you.